Hey YouTube fans, today we're going to be scrapping a PC tower. So stay tuned for this exciting episode of Gill Skills. <laughs> So let's start by opening this scrap in a box and seeing what's inside. <sighs> Looks like we have a hard drive. We've got RAM chips, four of them. We've got a pretty big heat sink over there. And we have the DVD-ROM, as well as the motherboard, some copper bearing motors, fans, etc. If you ever come across a find like this, really the golden rule is to check it through and see if anything works. If you find anything that works, chances are you're going to make more money selling that part than simply scrapping it for the precious metals. And there's the hard drive. And there's the DVR rewritable drive. And here come all four of the RAM chips. Geez, I just realized I'm thirsty. So there we go. Yay. I can't do a scrapping video without my Pepsi. So the motherboard is going to go in a bin with a whole bunch of other motherboards that I've collected over time. My scrapyard will take them and pay me by the pound. Usually it's not bad. It's about $1.50 to $2 per pound. That obviously will vary uh, from now on when you see this. You could be watching this video a year from now. Uh, prices will definitely vary. The RAM chips, the memory card, the processors, all have uh, gold fingers on them and I'll actually be setting those aside cutting the gold fingers off as I'm going to refine the gold later on now you can just simply put these in a pile and the scrap yards will pay by the pound for those as well however you could also sell them on eBay and you might make a few extra bucks that way there are also many websites that will take uh, old PC motherboards, RAM chips, and so on and so forth. I can't think of any off the top of my head at the moment, but I'll try to leave a few links in the description below. So all that's left now on the computer tower chassis is the motherboard itself, which is held in place with four screws. Time to take out the processor. computer tower chassis will go in my light iron pile. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the components even more. We're going to take apart the hard drive, the DVD-ROM drive, and take out all the inner nougat inside them.
That silver block is a nice piece of aluminum that we can't leave behind. Must take it off the motherboard. What I'm taking apart right now is what you'd normally put your discs and DVDs in to play movies and run programs and such. There happened to be a ribbon in there, and at each end of the ribbon was gold tips. So now we're going to work on taking the copper and the aluminum out of the power supply, as well as the wires. All these ends and connectors you see at the end of the wires I'm going to snip off. There's gold contacts in them that I will extract later on. Do you like what you see? If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I would certainly appreciate it. This year, my goal is to make 50,000 subscribers happy with all sorts of enjoyable content. We'll laugh, we'll dance, we'll scrap things together. Okay, maybe just the last thing, but it all sounded cool. Right? Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see in the next video. There are several reasons why I enjoy scrapping. One, it takes my mind off the more horrible things in life. Well, okay, maybe not horrible, but, you know, the more negative things. Anyway, aside from making money, uh, it also is, I don't know, very therapeutic to sit there and take something apart and you don't have to be careful with it either just unscrew uh, all the screws and uh, pry and destroy destroy no I'm just kidding danger Will Robinson danger but seriously folks it is a lot of fun
Next, I'm going to take apart the hard drive. The entire outer casing is made out of milled aluminum, which is awesome. And then you have those beautiful neodymium magnets. Oh, neodymium magnets, you are so attractive. Oh, oh, sorry guys, back to business. Okay, now it's time to take that high-end board off the hard drive. And here is the fruits of our labor. Here is some light iron from the chassis. The motherboard, which will go into my mountain of a pile of other motherboards. A pretty large heat sink. A decent amount of copper bearing motors. Some more copper bearing motors as fans. A block of copper and the needle that was in the hard drive, mostly made out of aluminum. Some boards with some gold components and gold tips from the end of those ribbons. The video card and another card with gold on it. The RAM chips with the gold uh, fingers. And the aluminum. Got a decent amount of aluminum there. And of course these, the platter that came out of the hard drive. And there's a ton of wire, mostly aluminum, some copper, all wire. And there you have it, folks. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Click on any of the links to watch more Gill Skills videos.